This video is about real zeros and multiplicity of a polynomial function in factored form. Before giving you examples, let us uh, recall the definition of zeros of a polynomial function. The zeros of a function f of x are values of the variable x such that the values satisfy the equation f of x equals zero. The zeros of a function are also called the roots of a function. The number of zeros of a polynomial function is equal to the degree of the polynomial. Also, every p of x of degree n has at most n real zeros. We can say that the zeros of a function are the x-intercepts of its graph. Example number one, f of x equals the quantity of x plus one times the quantity of three x minus two times the quantity of x minus four. Applying the zero product property, we have x plus one is equal to zero by additive inverse to isolate x on one side, get the additive inverse of 1. We have x plus 1 plus negative 1 equals 0 plus negative 1. In balancing equation, what you have added on the the left side should be also added on the right side. Then simplify, x therefore is equal to negative 1. Next binomial, 3x minus 2 equal to 0. To remove negative 2, apply the additive inverse. This becomes 3x minus 2 plus 2 equals 0 plus 2, 3x equals 2. To isolate x, divide both sides by 3. Therefore, x is equal to 2 thirds. Next, x minus 4 is equal to 0 by additive inverse. Therefore, x is equal to 4. The real zeros of f of x are negative 1, 2 thirds, and 4. The degree of the function is 3. The real zeros are 3, negative 1, 2 thirds, and 4. Therefore, the zeros of this polynomial function is complete. Number 2, g of x equals x quantity 2x plus 5 times quantity x plus 3 squared 
times quantity x minus 1 q. By applying the zero product property, we start with x. x is equal to 0. Next, 2x plus 5 equals 0. Applying the additive inverse, 2x plus 5 minus 5 equals 0 minus 5. Then simplify, 2x equals negative 5. To isolate x on one side of the equation, divide both sides by 2. Then x is equal to negative 5 halves. Next, x plus 3 is equal to 0. By additive inverse, x plus 3 minus 3 equals 0 minus 3 x therefore is equal to negative 3. Next binomial x minus 1 equals 0 by applying the additive inverse to isolate x on one side of the equation we have x minus 1 plus 1 equals 0 plus 1 x therefore is equal to 1. Therefore, the real zeros of g of x are negative 3 of multiplicity 2 because from the binomial x plus 3 squared, it appears twice. Negative 5 halves appears once, 0 once, 1 of multiplicity 3 from the x minus 1 quantity q. It appears thrice. The degree of the polynomial function is 7 and the real zeros are the number of real zeros are 7, therefore the zeros of this polynomial function is complete. h of x equals x squared times quantity negative 2x plus 1 times quantity x plus 7 squared applying the zero product property starting with x squared x squared equals 0 reduce x squared to x raised to 1 or simply x get the square root of both sides of the equation you have the square root of x squared equals square root of 0 x therefore is 0. Next binomial, negative 2x plus 1 equals 0. Get the additive inverse to isolate negative 2x. Negative 2x plus 1 minus 1 equals 0 minus 1. Remember what you have performed on the left side of the equation should also be done on the right side of the equation. That is, we have added or get the additive inverse. Then we have continue negative 2x equals negative 1. Again, isolate x or reduce negative 2x into x by dividing both sides with negative 2. Therefore, x is negative or positive 1 half rather. Next binomial, x plus 7 equals 0. Get the additive inverse. Therefore, 
x plus 7 minus 7 equals 0 minus 7. x is negative 7. Therefore, the real zeros of h of x are negative 7 of multiplicity 2 from the binomial x plus 7 quantity squared, then 0 of multiplicity 2 because x here is appear twice, then 1 half. Counting all the zeros or real zeros, we have 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. The degree of the polynomial function is 5. Therefore, the zeros of this function is complete. Next example, P of X equals quantity of X minus square root of 2 raised to 4 times quantity of X plus square root of 2 raised to 4. Applying the zero product property on the first binomial, X minus square root of 2 equals 0. Get the additive inverse. We have x is equal to square root of 2. On the next binomial, x plus square root of 2, we have x plus square root of 2 equals 0. Getting the additive inverse, we have x is equal to negative square root of 2. Therefore, the real zeros of p of x are square root of 2 of multiplicity 4 from x minus square root of 2 quantity raised to 4 square root of 2 appears 4 times and the other real zero is negative square root of 2 of multiplicity 4 is the zeros of the polynomial function complete let's check the degree of the function is 8 counting all the real zeros we have 4 plus 4 is 8 therefore the zeros of this function is complete. f of x equals 3x quantity x minus 3 quantity 2x plus square root of 3 raised to 4 applying the zero product property starting with 3x equals 0 divide both sides by 3 to get the value of x which is equal to 0. Next, x minus 3 equals 0. Add 3 on both sides of the equation. We have x minus 3 plus 3 equals 0 plus 3. Simplify, x therefore is 3. Next, 2x plus square root of 3 equals 0. Subtract square root of 3 on both sides of the equation. 2x plus square root of 3 minus square root of 3 equals 0 minus square root of 3. We have applied the additive inverse of positive square root of 3. Hence, we have 2x equals negative square root of 3. To get the value of x, divide both sides by 2. Therefore, x is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, the real zeros of f of x are 0, 3, and negative 
square root of 3 halves of multiplicity 4. Now let us check if the zeros of the function are complete. The degree of this function is 6. Counting all the real zeros, we have 1, 2, plus 4 is 6. Therefore, the zeros of this function are complete. Next example, f of x equals quantity of x minus 6 times quantity of x squared minus x plus 3. By applying the zero product property, starting with the first binomial, x minus 6 is equal to 0. Getting the inverse of negative 6, we have x minus 6 plus 6 equals 0 plus 6. Simplifying, x therefore is 6. On this trinomial, x squared minus x plus 3 It is not factorable. We, therefore, we couldn't convert it into two binomials or the product of two binomials. Therefore, the real zero of f of x is 6. Now, let's check if the zeros of this function is complete. The degree is 3. However, the real zero is only one. Now, where is the other two? The other zeros of this function are not real. In short, they are complex numbers.